place to watch God's greatest gift birth something new for himself, not only for himself, but his family. Um, yeah. Is, is something just like, it's, it's one of those things that like, there's no words for it. And yeah. um, proud would be an understatement. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, just knowing that he kept his head down, he kept his belief mm -hmm. strong and he did what he needed to do. And exactly. I say that to say, with the whole new beginning thing, we all can have a new beginning if we choose to. Um, exactly. No matter what it looks like and, you know, who it may affect or whatever. Um, thank you. Yeah, exactly. um, thank you, Shanette. But um, this year has also been a place of another new beginning. Um, I left a 22 year marriage in July. It will be five months tomorrow. And, you know, I'm beginning to understand what Pravita was talking about when she said, you know, that you got to go through it and, and, and be in your own space and mm -hmm. um, let the Lord cover you in the way that he chooses to cover you and mm -hmm. you know in 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 any situation where there's doubt I have always like leaned on God because you know I was telling you the other night that um I have discernment like I, I can spot mm -hmm. mess from a hundred yards yeah exactly and in this new season of my life, I am actually doing what I'm told to do with that discerning spirit because oftentimes I will feel something and I'm like, eh, it'll be all right. And then mm -hmm. that leads me 10 years down the road still dealing with, eh, it'll be all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, your, <laughs> your new beginnings are sometimes scary um who are you telling <laughs> and, and mine, started last, mine started last year and that's what i wanted to talk to you about you know <laughs> you know everything that we go through living with hydrocephalus and um spina bifida you now living on your own in your own space can sleep and do whatever when you choose to God still working with you on them naps, but <laughs> after but after twenty years, like you said, after twenty years of marriage, I almost made it to twenty one years, and God said that's it. And I didn't know why He said that's it till this year, when I found out my shirt was broke. Right. I was like, "Whoa, God, seriously." And during that type of situation, most people, some can live a certain way, a certain a certain time with it. But when my neurosurgeon found that out, he was like, oh, no, we need to fix this ASAP. Right. And I was like, yeah, I think we do, because I'm breaking. So, yeah, new beginners, I was not expecting to be out of my marriage, on my own, and then have to have uh, a brain surgery the next summer. Who's expecting that to all happen? All in all in the in a span of school. <laughs> so okay. yeah, but I am so happy for you, girl. I am so so happy for you. When I tell you I'm trying to go to Georgia too. Hello, Father. <laughs> put it in the atmosphere. Put it in the atmosphere. Because the crazy thing hey, is the very first time I visited Georgia, I was like, this feels like home. And God would have it. Deontay would start dating somebody in Georgia. And so Hello. You know, them being apart and then, you know, his him praying, you know, if this is meant to be, make a mm -hmm. way. And, mm -hmm. there and we God go. did that. There we go. It's all in his timing. You know how we do. We got we gotta we wanna we want it right now. And God's like, 
no, you ain't ready for that right now. Right. You ain't ready to do that right now. So, he's, yeah, it's all in his timing. Right. He's not going to give you more than you can handle in, in your right mm -hmm.